Greetings, I'm Shakes, and this is the adventure game The Immortal from 1990. Originally played this game on the DOS way back in the day. My brother had it. Um, back when you could actually rent PC games. <laughs> this was when we rented. Um, I'm playing it on the Genesis now because it's just easier to get it running. Uh, you may notice that Will Harvey presents there at the top. Will Harvey way way back in the day you probably don't know who he is now uh, but way back in the day he was famous for making uh, one of the first if not the first musical composition softwares and that was for the Apple II then he went on to make some games and more recently he's been doing the entrepreneur thing um, he was involved in some you know, online virtual social games uh, in the vein of Second Life I think one was called There uh, which you may remember that was a couple of years back. It's not around anymore. Uh, but that's what he's been doing. So let's get started. So this is uh, one of those brutally tough one wrong move and you lose trial and error games. Uh, adventure games. Um, in almost every room, there's a way to die instantly and you'll have no way of knowing until you do it. Uh, so here's one of those ways. So immediately, the very first room in the game, you will probably die. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of saves coming, hopefully not too much, but I just don't want to have to replay this game too much here. Uh, game only takes about an hour to get through, but if you die too many times, you will get restarted at the beginning, and that's not something I feel like doing, so a little bit of saves coming you'll have to put up with, I apologize. So here we're getting some exposition. Uh, basically the story of the game is getting set up here. Uh, our wizard teacher, uh, Mortimer came down to these dungeons and we're looking for him and that's pretty much it and he wants us to find him so let's take this dead guy stuff Dunrick, that's who Mortimer thinks we are or at least thought we are in that candle so here's our first enemy a goblin so you see the combat here it's kind of like punch out to the hungry eye um, it's obviously nowhere near as good as, or as complex as punch out but, you know, they swing and you can dodge. You have to dodge the way they're swinging. You'll see a little purple bar gradually climbing on the left side of the screen. That's the enemy's fatigue. The more that grows, the slower his swings are. So I can interrupt him and murder him. And you see these little pretty cool death moves. Add a lot of flavor to the game. Uh, so there, a goblin was fighting human. Interesting thing about that, how uh, about that is, if you just let him fight, the goblin will eventually kill that guy, and you'll lose important quest stuff. Um, but you won't lose the game; you just won't be able to progress really. <laughs> so, the game is full of stuff like that, where you'll you'll lose, but you won't formally lose, yeah, which is kind of annoying. But that's how games were back then. Darn it, we liked it. Uh, so yeah, the death move is pretty neat. Let's talk to this guy. He is, I forget his name, but he's Mortimer's warrior assistant, and he'll be helping you out throughout the game. So we gotta rescue Mortimer. So everything you find here, it's not immediately clear what it's used for at all. Uh, it's not even hinted at, uh, but it is all vital. So don't use it. <laughs> in the wrong place or else you will lose. Um, one of the neat things about this game is in the manual there's a subsection called the Codex of the Serpent which let me equip these fireballs here which uh, it's Mortimer's journal so it's all written in the fiction of the game but it's basically a little hint book and you do need it. Um, but it's cool because it doesn't solve any of the puzzles explicitly for you and it's just a nice little hint book that's done in the game's fiction. Uh, so it's really, it's, it's pretty neat. Let's read this note. Beware of shades. Uh, they are not kidding. They are super dangerous, and they're invisible, and they're not fun at all. And they're the first major enemy type we're going to fight in this game. Here's another trap room. It's hard to say this is a trap room because every room in the game pretty much has a trap in it. Let's just try not to... Oh, there we go. That set it off. I'm a big idiot, and I'm getting smoked by arrows. All right. Let's just run through that. So... Oh, okay. So this is... You're going to see this a lot. 
little pit traps in this game. And you're supposed to be able to swing out of them if you do it like perfectly. Which of course I can't do. So anytime I fall into them, it's an instant death. It's like landing in top in top gun. It's just not gonna happen. Um, and they're in almost every room, so yeah, you're gonna be seeing that a lot. So here's a dark room, which probably means there's shades in it. Let's light it up. So that little spot on the floor there, that's a shade. He's chasing me and he got me. So you can fight shades like anybody else. It's a little tougher because you can't see them actually swinging. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Um, you can use sound cues. This shade just beat me up. Uh, Alright, reflective amulet. Love it. Let's go. There's a bale of hay. We can use this to sleep and recover a little bit of health. Uh, this is just flavor text that comes up. It doesn't actually matter, but it's just kind of nice. There's a lot of dangers ahead. So here's a little reflective part, or shiny spot on the map here. Luckily I have a reflective amulet. Yes. Do not read the runes. I'll see what happens when I read the runes. That happens, game over. Uh, <laughs> no explanation given. You just, something bad happened and you're dead. Let's go down the ladder, and that's what happens when you don't, when you aren't careful walking down ladders. It's, this game is an accurate representation of ladders. I got Okay, let's try this again. Let's be extra careful as we walk down this ladder into level two. Okay. So now we're going to level two. And we'll do that tomorrow. Ta-ta.